this is my second episode of Defend and Proud. And I guess I want to talk about why I'm doing Defend and Proud. Because I see a lot of people who suffer with mental health. Not with necessarily, like, yeah, they do suffer with the insurance companies, the pharmaceuticals, therapy, doctors, other people. It's the entire package that is extremely just suffering. It's extremely painful. And, and I don't mean painful. For some people, it is physically painful, but I mean more of a mental state, more of an emotional state. It's just, it's a daily struggle. And I, I, I can't speak for other people. I don't know how to. I am not designed like that. I'm, I, I wasn't created like that. That's not my purpose. When I was in college, I had this associate. That, her name was Ellie. And she mes mentioned to me one time, that I was kind of a control freak. I like knowing things. Not knowledgeable things. I like just kind of being aware of the situation I'm getting myself into. But I also jumped way before I even had to look because I know jumping is required. It's a balancing act. Something I've learned from my brother Simon. That being able to act on intel always results in a better outcome just the way it is if you go into if, if you work with a police force and you go into a room not knowing what's what's inside you'll die the chance of you dying is higher if you understand what's inside a little bit more your chances of survival increase tremendously I say all that. I say all that because I want to talk about the ability. I'm bad at words. I'm not good. I'm, that's not me. That's my brother James. He's the social one. He's the one who say whatever. And even when he messes up, it doesn't matter. He just flows forward like a current or whatever. But it's never ever good to kind of think about the bad and the negative. It's good to think about the positives. I was told one time by Doc Cook, a therapist that was assigned to us once upon a time, the idea that disabilities don't have to be disabilities. Disabilities are just ways that we figured out how to live forward when otherwise other people would have crashed. Other people would have failed. Other people would have drowned. This condition, this DID, us, me and my brothers, we don't believe in it, but we understand it. And then it's the closest thing we know how to relate to it to help us do better. The idea is to do better, to retake your life in a way, to control it. Because it's your life. Disorders don't have to be a handicap. They don't have to be a crutch. And even if they are, imagine this. Somebody who's limping and has to walk with a cane. The cane is an extra tool. Somebody who has OCD, they have to flip a light switch several times before they can leave the room. And, well, turn it off and then leave the room. Or leave it on and leave the room. There's certain things that things have to happen a certain way, but that doesn't mean that it has to control your life. You simply have to realize that this is something that's part of you and use it for your benefit. People who have OCD are very keen to noticing details around them. People who are bipolar happen to be able to see things more in a black and white status. They might not be able to understand it, but they know it. I'm pissed right now, or I'm happy right now. It's one of those left or right. Gray area doesn't exist. Me, I'm paranoid. Paranoid schizophrenic. But I, 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 I'm aware of everything. Not everything, everything. More so than most normal people. In this household that I, I, I live in, I pay attention more so than the, than the people who I refer to as the head of council of this household. 
the the, the, the head of household. I, I pay more attention. I, I listen more. And I'm 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 in the tower, the tower as you see around you, well behind me. This is my tower. I know more what's going on than they tend to. I ask more questions so I can know what's going on more so than they do. Simon, my brother, he he, he researches information for better understanding of the information that I'm able to gather. James is able to socialize, to talk to people, sometimes even get what we need. Michael's the creative one. He's also a crazy one. I was trying to find a way to make that sound better, but he's a crazy one. But he's one of those, like, Robin Williams crazy. <laughs> one of those happy crazy. Creative crazy. We all have our gifts. We all have our abilities. And some people might see them as, oh, that's a disorder. That's something wrong. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be wrong. It's only wrong if you think that it's wrong. If you think that it's wrong, find a way to make it right. The idea of disassociating, of not allowing yourself or, or, or not even having control over being who you are. Chuck always says that, or at least he always reminds us, or at least it reminds me, that for whatever reason, something happened. And we're, what we are right now in this world is what we needed to be to survive this world. Whatever you are, if you're if you have a bipolar disorder, if, if you're missing your legs, if if you have amnesia, if you're anorexic, bulimic, schizophrenic, eccentric, manic, whatever it is, it might seem like a hindrance. It might seem like an annoyance. It might seem like something that that you shouldn't have to deal with, but it is a gift. In our world, we call these people gifted. People who might seem like it's a bad thing. But in all honesty, it's, some, it, 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 it's a gift. Because if harnessed the right way, it can be amazing. Life-saving. Life-changing. There's a lot of people who go, woe is me, my life is so hard. But it's never about the obstacles that are in front of you. It's about how you handle those obstacles, how you handle those challenges. If you're able to step up to them and say, let's see what I can do to be able to over overcome this. I work for an organization called Skills here in Tow, Kind of like a volunteer thing. And there are a lot of people who I see who happen to be stuck in the idea that they can't do one thing or another, but I, thanks to Michael and thanks to James, can see that these people are not giving themselves the benefit of a doubt. Michael can see so much more than I can, and he tells me every time we go in, this person, and they're going to change lives. But they won't change lives unless they believe they can, and right now they can't believe that they can because they're stuck in whatever ideal this world has on them and it's up to others to lift them up to let them see how special they are how gifted they are so here's my gift my gift is to tell you that you can do it whatever it is that you want to do if you want to make this world better if you want to make you better if you want to make the people around your life better know you know know your condition and know what People say you can't do and know what you want to do and just do what you want to do. Veterans who lose their body parts and limbs, some of them are able to push through and live a life that they want to live. I believe everybody has this ability. Michael once upon a time had an organization called Mad Image Inc collection of gifted individuals who are able to use artistic abilities to show you things. It was in this world. Your world. It was amazing. 
that fell apart whenever the Widener conflict occurred. That was way before me. But he was able to harness people's abilities in this world and let them see that they can do so much more. And then he left for a while. Hearing myself talk, I swear to goodness, it almost sounds like his babble from back in the day. But I see these people too. And I got married to my wife, Jasmine. She helped me understand compassion, understanding, love. Regardless of where that led, I still hold on to that. Because technically that's the only good thing I have on me. And holding on to that helps me grow into a better person. So what I want you guys to do. Know who you are. Like who you are. And know what your disorder is. What, what they call a disorder. And try your damnedest. No matter how many times people tell you no. No matter how many times people tell you you can't do it. No matter how many times you fall and stumble. Get back up. Because you're worth it. And this world needs people like you. Because whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're diagnosed with, you had to be diagnosed with that so that you can survive. You know how to survive. You know how to live. Don't forget that. Don't let what the world believes of you become you. Let you define who you are. Okay? I'm starting to sound like him. Not voice-wise, but the words that are coming out of my mouth. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he wasn't too far off from believing in you guys. Well, that's what I got today. You guys aren't handicapped. You're gifted. Believe that. Know that. And move forward with that. You're different. Yes. You're not like the average or everybody else. Yes. But be proud of who you are. And if you don't feel proud about who you are, make yourself proud of who you are. Not false confidence. Earn it. Put the hours in. Put the sweat in and the tears in and the blood in. But make your dreams come true. Do what you want to do. And don't let anything stop you. Because what you are is what you needed to be to overcome everything that you're that you're going to have to face. Okay? I got to go, though. So I'll see you guys later. Remember, different and proud. Okay? See you guys later.